Welcome and salutations. What do you see when you look at everything around you? Are you the kind of person that sees opportunities? Or are you the kind of person that may form judgments and potentially miss out on possibilities? I'm Heidi Garrett, licensed massage therapist, certified life coach, Reiki master, Qigong instructor, published author, and ordained minister through Universal Life Church. Today I want to talk a little bit about looking beyond what you might see right in front of you to go a little bit deeper and make better choices when it comes to either hiring or just relationships and opportunities in general. I'm going to show you one technique that I do that helps me get to that place of making those informed decisions. And then I'm going to finish up by sharing one of the projects I'm working on and how you can get involved if it's something that's interesting to you. Sound good? Awesome, let's get started. Great. Now, the other day I was on LinkedIn and I saw a post that was asking if people should hire based on observations that they see of people online sharing blogs or videos. And at the top of it was a picture of one guy, one in one image he was dressed as a slob with beer bottles on top and he looked like he was kind of kind of not so great you know not caring about life but then the other one you look at he's dressed very professionally everything's in its perfect proper place and he looks very organized and ready to take on the world now at first glance it might seem that that person that's professional and all put together might be the best candidate for the job and perhaps that could be true, and it could be, however, that the best candidate is really the slob, but you would never know based on his appearance. He might get dismissed altogether. You see, a few years ago, one of my mentors, Kevin Trudeau, shared something with me, and he said, your eyes and ears will always deceive you. And that really stuck with me, because I'm thinking, how is that possible? What you see is what you see, but that, I learned since, is not true. Not too long ago, one of my other mentors, Paul Sheely from Learning Strategies, introduced to me a new abundance coach, Carl Harvey. Now, when, at first glance, I was ready to dismiss him completely too. He looked young and like he was ready to go out and party. And he had an accent that was hard for me to understand. However, because I trusted Paul Sheely and I remember the words that Kevin Trudeau told me about my eyes and ears always deceiving me, I made the decision that I was going to give Carl Harvey the benefit of the doubt and listen to what he had to say anyway. And lucky for you, I did. I found endless treasures in the content that he had to share. And he inspired me to get in front of this camera and share my message with you as well. Okay, so how do I do it? How do I make these decisions about hiring someone or getting involved in a business opportunity? I mean, I know the world is so overwhelming with content. Where do we choose? How do we decide? Well, I can show you one way I do it. And if you like, we can do it together. Sound great? Awesome. Well, when I need to make a business decision or I'm trying to decide who I want to interact with and who I don't, one of the very first things I do is take in a few deep breaths, clear my mind, and open up to receiving information that helps me make a good decision. So let's get started on doing that right now. Take a deep breath in. Hold it for just a few seconds. And now, as you exhale, blow out any stress, worry, doubt, uncertainty, and judgment that you might have. Let it all go. Excellent. Breathe in acceptance and openness. Hold on to that feeling for just a few seconds. Great, now exhale and release. And let it go. Perfect. 
One more time. Let's breathe in peace and clarity. Hold it. Filling up that belly. Relax. Great. Now exhale and blow it all out. Great. Now take a moment and think about that decision you might be wanting to make. Think about that person maybe you want to hire or that opportunity you may be interested in. How are you feeling about that right now? Does it feel positive, hopeful? Are you open anyway to maybe looking a little bit deeper into that opportunity or that person? Or are you still feeling a little bit of anxiety, angst, or something not quite right? Well, if something doesn't feel quite right, that's okay. It could be one of two things. It could be that that person or that opportunity may not be the right thing for you. Trust yourself. It probably isn't. Or it could be that there's something else going on inside that still needs to be cleared out before you can get a more definitive answer. That is something I can help you with. So if you want to go a little bit deeper and clear out anything that might be hidden in there, keeping you from making the best choices, the best decisions, reach out to me. Send me a message on LinkedIn, or you can email me at auroralightlife at gmail.com. Either way works. Now, something else I'm doing is my pet project, which is I want to establish a nonprofit. This nonprofit is designed to help inspire people all over the world, regardless of their financial situation or other circumstances, to allow them to get the support they need to achieve success and happiness in all areas of their lives. And this also allows me to keep adding free content as well. So if this sounds like something you might be inspired to be a part of, or you really want to get involved, you're welcome to make a contribution at my GoFundMe account. It's GoFundMe.com backslash Establish Aurora Light Foundation. Or if that's not really for you, I get it. Or if you're not really sure about it yet, I'm okay with that too. Either way, go ahead and leave a comment below so other people get a chance to see this and try it out for themselves to see if that can make a positive impact for them as well. Until next time, Remember to just breathe.